Hello, this is Matthew McAvoy, and I'm going to teach you how to use the basic functions and go over the terminology for Microsoft Excel. I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel just to show you exactly everything that happens. When Excel starts to run, the first thing that pops up is this screen. Um, I am using Excel 2013. If you're using Excel 2010, um, you'll get a similar screen. Anything older than that, it's going to be a little bit different. Excel is one of the most powerful tools on your computer, um, and it's also one of the hardest ones to get to know all of the functions and exactly everything that it can do for you. First thing you'll notice is right now, blanked work, work, workbook is highlighted, and that's what we'll be doing. Um, once you get to know the basic functions of Excel, you can go through some of the pre-made templates that they have, and those will really help you. Um, me personally, I never like to use them because I'm very particular in how I want things set up. So I'm just going to select blank work workbook, and we are in Excel and ready to go. In the top left-hand corner, there is some quick buttons. Um, this one's to save, undo, move forward. Um, right here you can click on this to add quick buttons. I always add spelling and print preview and print just so I don't have to go and find them once I'm finished. I always add the spelling one because I can't spell. Next, underneath there, you'll see the word home, insert, page layout. Those are all different ribbons, and as you click on them, there is a ton of information within them um, because Excel is so powerful and will do a lot for you. Um, a lot of editing, um, formulas that you can use, and we'll go over those in later t tutorials. Right now, we're just going to go over basic terminology and some quick functions that will, that will help you. So I'm going to go back to the home button. Um, you'll see I can edit you know, the, the font of my text. Um, I can do a lot of things just from the home button. As you see, there's columns that are going down. They are all the ABCs. If I click on the A, and you see how my mouse has become a solid black arrow pointing down. I've just selected the entire A column. I can move across and select any column that I would like. Same with rows. They're one, two, three, all the way down. I can select the entire row, any one which I would like. Now when you're working within Excel, you're normally just going to be working with a single cell. And whatever cell you're on is going to be outlined with a thick black box. You'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner there's a tiny little square. If you hover over that, your cursor will change to a solid cross. I'm going to go over what that will do for you in just a couple minutes. Another thing I'd like to point out is at the bottom, as sheet one, you can add, there's just a plus button, as many sheets to this workbook as you would like. That's going to come in handy if you want to save a lot of data in this single workbook and help you later on. But we're going to work in sheet one first thing I'm going to show you is that you can rename this to be whatever you'd like. Um, I've selected sheet 1. I'm going to right click it and select rename. I'm just going to call it jobs. Hit enter and now I'm ready to begin working. Most of the time, you're going to use Excel to keep track of budgets or data. Um, one of the cool things about Excel is if you have data that's all numbered, 
one through a thousand or however high you don't have to go through and put in each number um, all the way down you can actually select these first three cells come over to when your <clears throat> cursor changes into a solid cross left click and drag all the way down as far as you want I have just gone all the way down you can't even see the first cells that I was at I'm gonna let go and Excel will automatically put in those numbers for me um, another important thing to know is that you can use numbers or text uh, within the cell or you can do a combination of both as you see I'm now selected cell A1 and I know that because A is highlighted, 1 is highlighted also up here it tells me I'm on A1 and another important thing to know is right over here this is your formula bar as you hover over it it tells you exactly what it is um, anything that is in that cell will show up in this formula bar also so let's just go over adding up figures or adding up money um, most of the time I use Excel to keep track of money that's coming in so we're going to put in this one jobs and underneath that we'll put jobs that I have network sorry power network random and as you see in power network is longer than the cells are than column B is right now there's a really easy way to fix that if I come up to column B and go right in between column B and column C you'll see that my cursor or my mouse has now changed and if I double click that column now has become as wide as the largest item in that column now I'm going to continue on and just do some months. We'll say May, June, July. I'm going to go ahead and enter in some figures. Say a thousand, thousand, fifteen hundred, and other sources of income. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Come over here, 200. So now you see I have some numbers entered. Um, right now, they look okay. If you want to make them look a little bit better, Excel will help you. You can select. I'm going to select this cell C2. Hold down my cursor, drag it down one and over you'll see that all of my numbers are now selected and if I come up here to this little money sign and just click it Excel automatically formates them to be money or accounting um, shows a dollar sign two decimal places looks pretty I know I'm talking about money now if I wanted to total them Excel will easily help you out with that. If I again go to cell C2, select it, and hold my cursor down so that I have cell C2 and C3 selected, and then I'm going to come over here to this summation button. And I'm just going to click that. And you'll see that in my row that I want to tell me the totals automatically 
there's the total. And it's important to notice that in the cell C4, you see $1,100. But in the function, or the formula bar, you see the formula that Excel has used to get that number. It equals the sum of cell C2 through C3. And to make life really easy and quick, Excel is going to help us out again. If I hover over the bottom right hand corner of the cell which has been totaled, wait for the uh, black cross, go ahead and left click and drag that over, you'll see that automatically Excel has applied the same formula to those other cells. We're just going to click on them real quickly just to show you what's happened. In the formula bar, it now equals the sum of D2 through D3. If I click over again, you'll see that it has changed to the sum of E2 and E3. Well, that's all I'm going to show you guys today. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, check us out on Facebook. And I'm going to do a couple more of these. If there's anything that you guys really want to know about Excel, let me know. Um, I am an accounting student. I use it daily for all of my classes. Thank you very much.